Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good time. So, Scar here, and welcome back to Scar Architecture Episode 2. In our last episode of Scar Architecture, we toured five beautiful modern kitchen designs. And I highly encourage you to check out that video before today's episode because in today's episode, we're going to be building the two most popular kitchens. So, in our last episode, of course, I had you vote on what your favorite kitchen was and then we would do a design tutorial of that kitchen and that's what we're going to do today and we're going to start with our number one rated kitchen and that was kitchen number five and followed by kitchen number two so as you can see my friends here is kitchen number five from our previous episode looking very beautiful my friends but it is time now to recreate it and here is our building site let's pull up our palette of materials and as you can see look at that assortment of colors and textures oh i absolutely love it so hopefully you're going to build with me today and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a 17 by 14 so 17 across and 14 long and then of course we're going to take these pillars and we're going to bring these up six blocks upwards and then that will represent the sides up here so give me one second let me fill in the center and the roof and I'll be right back. And there we go, my friends. We have our floor, our walls and ceiling arranged and ready to go. Recap on our dimensions, of course. It is 17 blocks wide. So from here all the way down here is 17. Now from this block all the way down to the very end is 14 blocks long. Now from the level of the floor, which is right here, it is six blocks all the way to the top. And that six block right there makes up the roof looking very beautiful. And of course it is four blocks of wood and one block of cyan clay makes up our crown molding of the room. All right, next thing we're gonna do, cabinetry. All right, so we're gonna start right here at the top and we're gonna start building our cabinetry like this and like that. So as you can see, two upside down and one normal, I suppose, there we go. And then we're gonna take these guys, we're gonna run these guys all the way down to the very end. Now, this is gonna be kind of repetitive, so we'll do these two pieces off camera, but I'll show you guys kind of the gist of it all right here. And then as you can see, we'll cut that down and then one normal one like that, and then loop it across like this. And this is what you'll repeat. Um, and I'll do this part off camera. So then I'll just repeat this pattern going all the way down like that. So as you can see, then we're gonna go one block here and one block right there and that makes up our cabinetry. Symmetry is beautiful, my friends. There we go, looking very beautiful. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our kitchen sink. And this is my favorite part of this particular kitchen and why I was so glad you guys picked this as your favorite. So as you can see right here, we have one half slab off of that stair. And then as you can see, I went two blocks outward and then three blocks high of this little pillar of our dark chocolate. So I think that's gonna look really, really cool. So I'll bring that up there like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our window. And as you can see, we have a beautiful view of our polar bears and, of course, our wolf friend. There we go. We're going to need to put some glass on there because we don't want any unexpected polar bear uh, friends in here. You just don't want polar bears in your house. Believe me. All right. So as you can see, we're going to take out our stairs like that. So two blocks facing that way. And then we're going to loop this across here like so. And then solid block, solid block, solid block, stair block. And that, of course, makes up four blocks by two. As you can see, looking very, very beautiful. Awesome. All right, let me clear this all away and bring in one of my new favorite blocks. And that, of course, is the bone block. So as you can see, we're going to fill the bone block in all of these corners back here like this. So let me do that. Let me fill this in. Awesome. Now that we have our bone block filled in and ready to go as our backsplash, we're going to connect onto this pillar right here, one block and then two blocks downwards like that. That makes up our countertops. Now we're using stone slabs. As you can see, they look a little different than default. That, of course, is part of my texture pack. And this particular design is not quite out yet. It's part of my newest update to my texture pack, but my original one is still there and you can download that and it'll look just as awesome. All right, so as you can see, we'll do the same pattern here and we're gonna go two blocks instead of one from the solid. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sample that and we're gonna pull this outwards like this, as you can see, and then cut out that block and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, and that six block cut in like so. Bring this all the way out there like that, looking good. Now remove the bone block in the center here. There we go, remove that, clean that up, beautiful. And then we'll take out our countertop and we'll fill this in like that. And there we go, as you can see, that is our countertop design. Now let me do the same side over here, just like we did on the other side. And there we go, all set up and ready to go. Now where we're gonna mix things up a little bit is on this side right here. So we're gonna take this block, and we're gonna bring that over like that. Then I'm gonna go boom and a bam like that. Then I'm gonna jump into my magical inventory and pull out an item frame. There we go, put those guys right there, awesome. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this going like this, cut that in like that, and bring that up words like that. So as you can see, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then spaces in the center just helps kind of organize it and orient yourself. All right, 
we are making huge progress, which I'm really happy about. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to count out from this block right here. We're going to go one, two, three, and then that fourth block, boom. All right. And then we're going to sneak over and do the exact same thing right there. Same orientation Then we're going to take out our oak slabs or stairs by that matter. And we're going to bring these guys like this. And look at that pig out there. Look at that, my friends. I want that as a Minecraft painting, just a little Minecraft house and a little pig just looking out on life, just thinking about himself like, Scar, this blank landscape needs some Scar pizzazz. And I agree, Mr. Pig, I agree. I don't want to do Scar architectures in this blank, boring world. I wanted to do it to kind of uh, just to get started a little bit because um, I was trying to have been thinking about where I want to kind of put all my showcase designs. And I'm thinking maybe some islands or something. I haven't decided yet, uh, but I agree, Mr. Pig. I agree. I agree. It at least needs some trees. We need some trees here. All right. So as you can see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember how we removed that solid block and we put in a stair there while I was going on a tirade about pigs. All right, so as you can see, this is the center. So we're gonna stand right on the center, look straight up, and we're gonna go solid block, half slab, okay? So we have a solid half slab. And if I remember correct, let's see what this is. This is two solids. I have an idea. We may change things up a little bit. We may change things up, so bear with me. So this, of course, remember, so full block, half slab, half slab, half slab, and then I'm going to bring this down to, now that's a full block, now it's a half slab plus a full block. It's very confusing because we start out with a half slab and then we become a full block and now we become a full block plus a half slab. I like it. I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to grab myself an iron trap door and I'm going to go like this and that. And I think this is almost a better look than the one we have across the hall. Definitely let me know. That of course is A, the original, and B, the new. Definitely let me know which one you like in the comments. So A or B, the original is A, the B is the new one. Let me know in the comments which one you guys like best. I, I kind of like them both, but I'm kind of leaning towards the new one because I think that looks kind of cool anyway. All right, my friends, we're gonna put in some stoves and a couple other details, and I'll see you in just one minute. And the only thing left to do now is to add our carpet onto the countertops, as you can see, and this just cleans everything up and makes it just that little extra bit of polish and dimension. It's always important to always look in your builds to find anywhere you can add that extra little bit of dimension and depth. And that's what we've accomplished a bit with this particular design in the corners there. Then we add some pieces right there. And the final design, my friends, the final design, making sure you're lined up with the cabinet here, cut these blocks out like that, and then bring these up like so. So that's three blocks and then two blocks back. And that makes up your refrigerator. Let me give myself just a little bit of light. And there we go. That is our kitchen that you chose from the last episode. And I think it looks very, very cool. We have our little eating area. We have our stove. We have our prep area in the back. We have our refrigerator. And of course, our sink on this side. We have our white stained glass. We have a lever and a switch for water. Then swooping over here, we have our lighting under a piece of carpet back here. And of course, we have our cook tope cook tope that's our cook tope guys that is our cook top stove ready to go and of course our range hood now there we go my friends that is our winning kitchen now let's do the runner-up and welcome to kitchen number two which plays second in our design challenge in our last episode now i believe this one placed second because of the skylights you guys seem to absolutely love the skylights and the range hood above our stove in the corner the nice little windows around the sides and of course, my personal favorite is the breakfast nook with the lamp and the bench seating. So I'm excited to uh, recreate this for you guys. So hopefully you're following along. So get out your Minecraft materials. I have the pallet ready to go and we're going to start right here. So this is going to be our first block. We're going to place that down like so. And then you're going to draw a line all the way around and then fill it in once we complete the, the circle. So we're going to place that block down and we're going to go 17 blocks all the way down to here. And that is 17 wide and then 14 long like that. Then 17 blocks once again to here. And then this block right here is going to be one, two, three, four. And no, 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 there's not going to be any rain here. So four right there. And then you're going to skip over it here and you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from there, seven blocks to there, six blocks to here and then three to bring it home. So this one over here is three, not four. So that's four on that side. This one's three on that side. It kind of tricked me up a little bit, but uh, make sure you do three on that side. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, after you fill this all in, so once you drew that line all the way across, fill it all in, and then you're gonna go one, two, three, and let's just shoot over here and do the same like that. Boom, and bam, looking beautiful. And then we're gonna bring this up six blocks. So three, four, five, six, and then we're just gonna start working on this side over here. Awesome. 
and then we're going to bring a pole going up like that. So just in the center like that. Awesome. And then we're going to space it out two blocks. And on the third block, we're going to bring up another one like that. And then in the spacing of three. So one, two, three. And on the fourth block, bring another one all the way across. And now over in this corner. So what you're going to do, if this was covered up, you'd go boom, boom. And then bam, bam like that. Okay. And then cut those guys out and then bring these upwards. At least that's how it's easy for me to remember. So let me do that one more time. So if you were to at the corner, go boom, boom and then bring up this like that. So there's two blocks on either side like that, cut out those two, and then bring these up six blocks. So hopefully that made sense. And if you wanna see, like it would just be like a block spacing there, there, and then two blocks right there. Um, these are for the refrigerator, so don't mind those. And then bring this up six blocks and I'll catch you in a second. All right, we're up above here, kind of planning this out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak down here and connect to this block right here. We're gonna connect it to that last pillar that we left off with at three and then run up one like that to make that symmetrical. And then right here on this pillar right here, we're gonna bring this one going all the way across here, cleaning up any scar mistakes, there we go. And then connect right here. Let's grab onto this guy and we're gonna bring him all the way to there and then bring this one back to this end right there. Beautiful, awesome. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna connect right into the middle. So right in the middle of this one, we're gonna bring another pole going all the way across. And as you may have guessed, we're working on the skylights, that's right. So the skylights that are my favorite part of that design over there, and that's what we're gonna be working on. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start connecting this. So we're gonna run out a piece of our beautiful milk chocolate all the way across here like this. There we go, looking good, all right? And then we're gonna take this, actually, we're gonna push that up like this, make sure we don't make too many scar mistakes, and we're gonna have a three wide skylight like this, looking absolutely incredible. So put that right there, and then let's dip down here. And as you can see, look at that. Oh, I love it. So let's do this skylight here. And there we go. We have our skylights ready to roll. Now we need to add some walls. So let's see what we can do about walls. So what I'm thinking about is this entire section right here to fill this all in with cyan clay. So this entire wall will be cyan clay. Now this wall on this side will be entirely filled up with our dark chocolate. And then over on this corner right here, these two sections will be filled with it up and I'll be right back. Very awesome, my friends. We now have our walls and our roof assembled, but let's work on our breakfast room. So in this room, what we're gonna do is follow off of this piece right here. We're gonna fill this entirely up with the dark chocolate all the way up to here, all right? And then in this corner right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then of course, we're gonna do the same on this side. So we're gonna bring that all the way to there and then connect via this pillar here this one there and then bring it all the way around and then one more going all the way in the center like that and then up in here what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and we're going to fill that in and that will make up our ceiling so let me fill this in and we'll start working on the details and now we have a very dark and very bland breakfast area so as you can see we filled in these walls so next thing we want to do is start to kind of open them up a little bit and give this area a little bit of life once again and a little bit of light. That's all we really need here is just a little bit of light. So then we're just going to add some just some little decorative windowsills here and there on either side of the room, giving this area lots of beautiful natural light. And maybe this kitchen won't be able to fit or the other one exactly in your houses that you're building. But I think it's a good design exercise to follow along. And that's what I like to do on things that I'm learning is just follow along and then, you know, from there, take it in your own direction. And that's something I love to do. And that's kind of the hope with this series is that you'll be able to kind of follow along like that and then kind of take it on your own direction. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to head into our magical inventory, find out some court stairs. There you are. And we're going to start running some some of these countertops. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to this one right here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, like so. And then we're going to sneak back here and add it like that. So you can kind of see in the kitchen way yonder is that similar. And we can even maybe even go like that just to help on that corner transition, just to make that a little smoother. Once again, four blocks like that. Cut that in as a nice little transition. A boom and a bam and looking very beautiful. And then right here, we can do this once again. Ooh, not like that. But we can take this like this and we can run this countertop all the way across here to let's see. We're going to pull it into about there like that. Let's see, almost all across, there we go. And we can bring that up to about there, awesome. So right in the center here, I'm gonna pull this back to about three blocks, and then we're gonna open this up into our stove eventually. So then let me run these guys in the back end like that, very, very cool. So that just helps us kind of establish what we want for our design 
and this will help us add the upper cabinets and things of that nature. There we go. And then we'll bring this guy all the way across there. And we're going to add something on the top of these counters to clean them up and make them look a little bit more polished. And then on either side of this section right here. So this column right here. Um, hmm. What if we did something like that? Beautiful. And this is now, if I can reach, there we go. This is now going to be our refrigerator and freezer. So I think that's going to be really nice. Now, you might notice this upper level is, you know, open to the sky. Well, we're going to fix that. Don't worry about that. All right. So I'm happy about that. So the next phase we're going to work on is our stove. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here. So we have three blocks spacing here. On either end, we're going to bring up two blocks like that. And then we're going to bring up an additional one like so. And I like to do half slabs because it just one less block in the inventory. We can always make a solid with a half slab. Just saves a little bit on inventory space. There we go. Oh, hello. There you go, you scoundrel. Um, and then let's see. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this block, put this one right there, swoop around the back and place that there. And you are looking good. Next thing we're going to do, this one gets a little bit tricky to get in the right spot. So easy, just put a a temporary block right there and then swoop around and then remove that temporary block and as you can see look at that so we start with two solid blocks stair 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 so that just helps kind of frame that up pretty nice there we go and then connect that at the top and then smooth it out by two half slabs like that and we are looking good my friends next thing we're going to do we're going to take out a stove if i can't even find it there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to go boom and a bam and you in the center like that looking good looking good next thing we're going to do we're going to take out this and we're going to take out that and we're going to go like this boom and a bam and you in the scent oh hello wait no no you scoundrel get back in the right spot there you go that is now our design for our stove uh to finish this off we can go like this cut that out like that you can add panes or solid blocks in here it doesn't matter you can even mix in a colored stained clay which would look very wonderful Take out your bone block. Now, this is where I would love it if you guys really got uh, creative and came up with a really amazing backsplash that wasn't the bone block. Maybe something else. Use your imaginations. Get in there and figure out what would make a really cool backsplash. As you can see, there is a couple little design changes from our previous kitchen over there. I'm using cyan in the little holes right there, and I think that looks super de duper nice. So I'm just going to take a quick break real quick, catch my breath, and I'll be right back. And welcome back. And I got a little jump on things. So as you can see right in the center here of the room, I did two end rods spaced by one, another set, and another set right there. And then directly below them, I went one, two, three, four, five of a cyan like that. So what we're going to do is now we're going to connect onto those blocks like that. And we're going to swoop around here like that, similar to what we did in our previous island. There we go. So connect those together like that. Looking good. And then eventually we'll put a sink in here, but I would like to get an, another little shot here at the cabinetry after we finish our pendant lights. So as you can see, pendant lights have been installed and there are three blocks like that. And there's a spacing, I think from here, it's like one, two, three, it should be the same over here. One, two, three, beautiful. All right, my friends, let's clear that from our inventory. Let's grab out some extra, blah, 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 I can't even talk, extra supplies. There we go. And then we're going to place some blocks like this. There we go. As you can see, we're going to create that pattern and we're going to run this to here. And then from there, we're going to go boom and a bam. And then we're going to connect that in the center like that. And then bring that all the way down to the end here. And then once again, connect that like that. And then on the above cabinet up here, we're going to take out a half slab and we're going to run that across here like this. There we go. Looking good. Now, remember, there is that upper area right there. We are going to fix that. We're going to fix that with something like this, I think would be just fine. There we go and put that down like that. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. And then down on this lower cabinet, we're going to add another layer of detail going across here like so. Um, and then for these little spots like right here, and it's going to be here, a future block right there. Um, you can mix it up like in your own designs where you're working here. Um, try to mix that up with some other designs. Um, just try to be creative. See what you can come up with. See if you can beat me and uh, come up with a better design than I have because I'm not 100% attached to what I have in that spot. There we go. And that's a basic cabinet design over there. And let's do the same on this side. So once again here, let's just find our center point. There we go. And we're going to place these blocks like that. Looking very wonderful. And we're going to connect it to here. We might change that block. So hold on with that one for a second. There we go. And then let's sneak on over on this side once again. We'll bring this to here. These are the cabinets that have this extra bit of detail to them that I love. It's still in a modern design, but it just has a little extra pizzazz, which I quite enjoy with this particular design and then we'll do a little cabinet on this side boom and a bam and we'll do another one over there awesome very cool 
oh, I'm loving that. I think that's really cool. Um, like I said before, you can kind of decide where you want to go. If you want to have the extra block there or have it a little cleaner in design, which I think also looks really nice. And then we can take this and we could even maybe even try something like that, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one I like. If the half slab like we did behind us or the stair right here. I both kind of like them both a little bit in a way. Um, and then, of course, if you guys want to do a better backsplash than the dark chocolate, definitely do so. All right. And then swooping around the back and we're going to add ourselves a little sink. So sink and boom. And just a simple sink. Nothing too fancy here at all. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up with our design for the um, breakfast nook. So back here, if I can remember. <laughs> That's easier said than done, Scar, because you seem to have forgotten. Um, then we're going to bring this across here like this. And we'll bring that across there like that. Connect it down like so. Actually, I'm going to probably bring this back to here. Whoops. There we go. There we go. A little harder than, than, uh, than I anticipated remembering this. So see that design? It's I don't know what this design reminds me of, but I really like it. It's such a clean, modern design. Um, and as you can see, it's just kind of like a bench, but it has two backrests split, you know, so it looks like it's two individual seats, but it's just one bench going across. I love that design. I don't know. I don't know what it is about that, but I really like that. Um, let me grab out this and then let me connect that up top. So we now have a lamp. Now, like I said, the bone blocks don't actually cast light, but the end rods do. So it's kind of funny that the supporting mechanisms, actually the light source, not the, you know, in real life would be the light source. So I kind of like that. It's kind of fun little design. There we go, my friends. Let me add a few finishing touches and we'll wrap this up. And there we go. Kitchen number two is complete and ready to go. And look at this. Oh, I absolutely love the beautiful structural detail of the skylights and the cabinetry. Absolutely love it. And of course, our very detailed range hood with stove. And you saw it over in the corner. I know you did. That's the milkshake maker, of course. Looking very beautiful. And then our breakfast nook in the corner over here with our bench seating and our light fixtures looking very, very awesome. And that wraps up our design tutorial, part of our five modern kitchen designs. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed and built along with me. Architecture was, of course, born of the idea that we wouldn't bury our designs in 32 part modern house builds, but create an easy to digest series where you can, you know, view the designs, get a quick tutorial of the design that you choose. And hopefully this has succeeded in encouraging you to build within Minecraft and take designing to the next level. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserves a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to vote on your next series.